Hi, thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for November 24th. The scripture states, But now thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 1. As a shepherd leads his flock over the rocky hills, through forests and wild ravines, to grassy nooks by the riverside, as he watches them on the mountains through the lonely night, shielding from robbers, caring tenderly for the sickly and feeble, his life comes to be one with theirs. A strong and tender attachment unites him to the objects of his care. However large the flock, the shepherd knows every sheep. Every one has its name and responds to the name at the shepherd's call. As an earthly shepherd knows his sheep, so does the divine shepherd know his flock that are scattered throughout the world. Jesus says, I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Jesus knows us individually and is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. He knows us all by name. He knows the very house in which we live, the name of each occupant. He has at times given directions to his servants to go to a certain street in a certain city to such a house to find one of his sheep. Every soul is as fully known to Jesus as if he were the only one for whom the Savior died. The distress of everyone touches his heart. The cry for aid reaches his ear. He came to draw all men unto himself. He bids them, follow me. And his spirit moves upon their hearts to draw them to come to him. Many refuse to be drawn. Jesus knows who they are. He also knows who gladly hear his call. He cares for each one of us as if there were not another on the face of the earth. Let us pray. Most kind and compassionate Father, thank you so much for this timely reminder that we each as individuals are known by you. We're known by Jesus. We're known by the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for loving us individually. You know our situations, you know our issues, you know our strengths, you know our weaknesses, you know our desires, you know our hopes. Oh Lord, you know our stresses. You know everything about us. You know what sicknesses we have. You know what's going on in our bodies. You know our motives. You know our hearts. You know us. And with everything, you love us with an everlasting love. Even when we don't hear the voice of your Holy Spirit, because we have drowned him out with so many distractions or because we purposely just don't want to hear him because we want to keep doing what we want to do. Thank you for loving us anyway. Thank you for your continuance in reaching out. And I know eventually the Holy Spirit will stop trying to reach those of us, dear Lord, who refuse over and over and over again to hear. Lord, if that's any of us that's listening, please help us to choose to hear your truth and your love, to choose to stop doing things our way, to fully surrender to you. It's not easy, but it's simple. We simply have to surrender. 
We simply have to say, Father, have your way in my life and remove me. Let self die within me so that the life of Christ can be lived out through me. Take my mind, because that's where we make these decisions. Lord, take our minds. Please take full control so that decisions will be yours. Oh, Father, help us to think. Can you imagine if our decisions are based off of love? Not love of self, but love of you and love of others? Oh, what a wonderful place this would be. It's unfortunate that that's not the case. But there is hope because that will be the situation in heaven, in the new earth and in the new heavens, there will just simply be love. Love, obedience, perfection, it will be, oh Father. Ah, thank you. And those of us who are going through difficult times, dear Lord, whether it's something in our marriage, with our parents, with our siblings, with our church members, with our co-workers, with you know, fellow students in our school, with people in the community. Father, help us to come to you and to seek the joy that you always have. In spite of hard times, there is joy in your presence. There is peace in your presence. <laughs> There is happiness and laughter in your presence. Father, help us to know. Help us to know these things. And help us to accept these things. Father, help us to not let the devil try to, to cloud out your love and your joy and your peace and who you are. Help us to be willing to be changed. Cleanse our minds and hearts, dear Lord. Thank you so much for your love. I praise you, I praise you, I praise you. Lord, you know, you know, <laughs> and I'm so happy for you because in spite of everything, there is oh, joy and peace and love with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please help this to be our experience at all times. Help us to surrender to you. Thank you so much for your love. Help us to love each other. Help us to serve. In Jesus' name I pray. Cleanse us and forgive us once again, please. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.